So back when the Opera House was first designed, accessibility was not at the forefront of everyone's minds. And so what was really important was to make sure that we create a path of travel from the southern foyers all the way through the northern foyers, where we're standing currently, for all people. So including those that had impaired mobility and are in wheelchairs. And so we've put in a new passageway and a new lift, as well as new accessible seating and bathrooms. The second broad category of improvements have been the acoustic upgrades and people notice those most when they walk into the concert hall auditorium itself. So if you think of the hall as operating in a variety of modes, um, broadly one could be categorised as amplified and the other as symphonic. So when you have, for example, the Sydney Symphony Orchestra playing, it's really important that it's a very clear sound. And so what we've done is we've installed a number of uh, reflectors above the stage, which are large pink um, round reflectors that act as an acoustic ceiling and reflect the sound back to the orchestra so that they can hear each other and it also improves the experience for patrons as well watching the performance. In terms of amplified mode, um, the key changes have been uh, around the drapery and the soft furnishings that we've put in place. So previously if we had The Cure for example playing, uh, our staging team would have to go around and manually hang all of the uh, soft furnishings, the drapes, put carpet down on the floor. Uh, now that can all be done automatically, so that facilitates quick turnaround times so that we can put a number of different performances on in any one day. And the final category of improvements has been the theatre machinery. So when you go up into the ceiling of the concert hall, in an area we call the tech zone, there are machines everywhere and we installed 146 new winches and hoists up in the ceiling. And they were installed so that we can cater to all the different kinds of performances that we would like to show in the concert hall, which, as you can imagine, has changed significantly from the 1960s and 70s when the Opera House first opened. This has been planned, well, it's been planned by the Sydney Symphony Orchestra since the Opera House opened because they never felt <laughs> yeah. that it because they never felt that it matched the standards that were required for their very high standards of symphonic music. But this was really launched at the Opera House's 40th anniversary. We launched a decade of renewal to include a whole package of, of works that would really prepare the Opera House for future generations. By the 50th anniversary, the celebrations for which start in less than six months. So we, we made it just in time. So it's been, it was about seven years of planning and about two years of, two and a half years of execution. That having been said, after the two and a half years we've all had with COVID, what a perfect time for the concert hall to reopen, yeah. you know, in celebration with the community are just going to be able to come back and love it.